XXOO Glow Fam, it's me, Vince, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Back at it again with part 2 on how to become a home-based online tutor. Now, if you haven't watched part 1, I highly recommend that you pause this video and check out part 1 of this two-part series on how to become an online tutor. Now, if you're done watching part 1, in today's video, we're going to talk about the lesson flow, the sample lesson on the interview, and the demo lesson. You're going to learn some tips and tricks, some do's and don'ts, and you will get a hold of some scripts that I personally use whenever I conduct my rare job lessons. So without further ado, let's glow! The first thing that we're gonna talk about today is kung paano ba gawin yung basic flow ng lesson. Hmm, ano nga ba? There are two ways kung paano ka pwede mag-conduct ng lesson. The first one is through the lesson room. Ano yung lesson room? Yung lesson room ay isang feature sa loob ng Rare Job website kung saan pwede ka mag-conduct ng classes. And everything will be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. The second way kung paano ka pwede mag-conduct ng lesson is through Skype. Now, what do you have to do? You can find the Skype ID of your student, it's a rare job website, through the student profile page. All you need to do is to add your student in Skype and give them a call on the indicated time. Let's start the class. What am I going to do? Now is the time to start the basic flow. Tip time! In Japan, when talking about other people, one uses honorific titles after their name. The most common title is San. It means all of Mr., Mrs., and Miss. For example, kunyari yung name niya Mr. Tanaka. Pwede mo siyang refer as Tanaka-san. Or kunyari sabi niya Hiro. Tawagin mo siyang Hiro-san. Step 1. Sound and video check. You have to confirm kung naririnig ka ba nila at nakikita ka nila. You can do that by asking, can you hear me clearly? Can you see me on my video? Once mag-confirm sila ng yes, then you're good to go. Next up, greeting. Of course, kailangan mo na natin bumate. You can do that by saying, Hi, thank you for booking a lesson with me today. Next step, confirmation of names. You can do that by saying, My name is Vince and I'll be your tutor for today. What's your name? Siyempre sasabihin niya yung pangalan niya. Let's say yung pangalan niya, Hiro, mag-respond ka lang by saying, Hi Hiro-san, it's nice to meet you. How are you doing? Next step, the introduction. Now this step is only applicable if first time mo conduct ng lesson with a student. You can do this by saying, Since this is our first lesson together, would you like to have an introduction? If they say yes, say something about yourself, but make it very brief. I usually say, Again, my name is Vince. I am 29 years old. I live in the capital of the Philippines, which is Manila. And during my free time, I like watching movies online, I love traveling, and I am a rare job teacher. Now it's your turn. Please introduce yourself. Then of course, magpapakilala yung student. Now what you have to do is to build rapport. Ask at least one question from the student's introduction. For example, Oh, you said earlier that you love singing. So what's your favorite song? Tip time! Don't ask open-ended questions. Pag sa introduction, remember you only have 25 minutes to complete the entire lesson. So use your time wisely. Next up, confirmation of material. Let's say, yung topic na i-discuss natin is how to use the words is and are. You can do that by saying, So, Hiro-san, for today, you chose the material how to use the words is and are. Do you want to continue with this material? If they say yes, go ahead and proceed. Do you have the copy of the material? Siyempre, tatanungin mo kung may kopya sila. Baka mamaya lesson ka na ng lesson, wala pa pala silang kopya. This is the time na i-discuss mo na yung lesson. On the sample lesson, you will not have scripts, but you will get a copy of the material. So pwede mong basahin din yung instructions ng material. But on the demo lesson, you will be using an official rare job material. So kasama na dun yung scripts. At Babasahin mo na lang siya sa gilid. So, napakadali lang. Tip time! Most ng Japanese people, nahihirapan sila i-pronounce yung letters L and R. Minsan, they tend to interchange those sounds. And it's okay na hindi mo na i-correct yun. But only for those two letters. Lahat ng mga ibang mispronounced words, you have to correct it. Now, how do you give a feedback? Tutors are required to give a constructive feedback to all of their students. For basic lessons, we follow the VGP format. V for 
vocabulary, G for grammar, and P for pronunciation. For vocabulary, we follow this format, word and meaning. So just ask the student to read or repeat the meaning. For grammar, we follow this form. Hiro-san, you said earlier, then read the incorrect sentence. Then ask your student to read or repeat the correct form. Now for pronunciation, we follow this format. All you gotta do is ask the student to read or repeat the correct pronunciation of the word. Tip time! When giving feedback, we also follow one more method. It's called the NCR method. N for notice, C for correct and R for repeat. How do you do this? So, pag sinabi ng student nyo na the girl are reading a book. Do you mean the girl is reading a book? Then sasagot yung student nyo na Oh, yes, yes, tutor. You can do this by saying So, Hiro-san, earlier you said the girl are reading a book. The correct way of saying it is the girl is reading a book. Can you repeat that? Tapos so ulitin ang student nyo yun. A girl is reading a book. Next up, the wrap up. You can do this by saying, Today, we discussed the material how to use the words is and are. Today, we learned some new words and we learned how to use is and are on sentences. Next up, feedback. You can do this by saying, now this is the end of the material and I would like to give you my feedback on your performance for today's lesson. Ngayon bibigyan ko kayo ng sample ng super basic feedback na pwede nyong gamitin. Tip time, always remember to use the sandwich method whenever you're giving feedback. So start with the good points, next would be the areas for improvement and end it with tips on how they can improve. How do you do that? You can do it by saying, oh here is you did a great job today because you were able to answer all my questions correctly. However, these are the things that you need to improve on. Ito yung time na ibibigay mo na talaga yung totoo mong feedback. After that, you can end it with, to be able to improve your vocabulary and pronunciation, I'll send you two links in your Skype chat box. Now you can check out these links during your free time. Next up, after the feedback, of course, kailangan mong i-end yung lesson. You can do this by saying, This is the end of the lesson. Thank you for taking my class. And I hope to see you again. Bye for now. The end. That is the basic flow ng isang regular lesson. Now let's start the sample lesson. As mentioned on part 1, yung evaluator nyo, siya yung magpapanggap na Japanese student. Tuturuan mo siya using the basic lesson flow na diniscuss natin kanina. Now we try natin yung material na sabi ko kanina. How to use the words is and are. Tip time. Always remember na pag merong kang rare job classes, you are required to wear something presentable. And you need to have a plain background, preferably white. Parang ganto. Are you ready? Let's start. Can you hear me clearly? Ah, yes, tutor. I can hear you. Can you see me on my video? Video good, tutor. Hi. Thank you for booking a lesson with me today. My name is Vince, and I'll be your tutor for today. What's your name? My name is Hiro. It's nice to meet you, Hiro-san. How are you doing? I'm good, Vince-san. And you? I'm doing great so far. Since this is our first lesson together, would you like to have an introduction? Yes, Vincent. Okay, great. Now I'll start. Again, my name is Vince. I'm 29 years old. I live in the capital of the Philippines, which is Manila. During my free time, I like watching movies online. I love traveling and I am a rare job teacher. Now it's your turn. Please introduce yourself. My name is Hiro. I live in Tokyo. I am 29. No? During my free time, I love singing. I am vlogger, tutor. Vlogger. Thank you so much, Hiro-san. It's really nice to meet you. So, you love singing. What's your favorite song? My favorite song is uh, Perfecto, Ed Sheeran. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yes, sir. good, good, good. For today, you chose the material how to use the words is and are. Do you want to continue with this material? Yes. Do you have a copy of the material? Yes. I have a copy. Are you ready for the lesson, Hiro-san? Ready. Okay, good. Now, in today's lesson, we will learn how to use the words is and are. Is it clear? Clear, tutor. That's good. Let's go to the next part. Now we have grammar tip. Today, we will learn two words, is and are. 
Now, first one, the word is is used when the subject is singular. On tutor, what is a uh, eto singular? Good question. I'll send you the definition in your chat box. The word singular means only one. Oh, only one. Is it clear? Yes, tutor. That's good. Now, can you read the example? The boy is riding a bike. Thank you for reading the sentence. Now let's practice one word from the sentence. When you pronounce the word bike, the sound that you are making is the sound of the letter V. Now the correct sound should be B. Listen carefully and look at the movement of my mouth. B. Can you say it? B. Now let's practice the word bike. Bike. Well done. Now let's go to the next one. The word R is used when the subject is Plural. Can you read the example? The four boys are playing basketball. That's perfect. Do you have any questions? No tutor, no question. That's good. Now let's go to the next section. Now we have an exercise. The instruction says choose the correct answer. Is it clear? Yes tutor. Can you try number one? The toy is are on the table. Is a. The toy is on the table. That's good. Number two. These five upper is are delicious. Is. These five upper is delicious. Okay. Now let's look at the subject on the sentence. Our subject would be five oranges. Remember, is is only used when the subject is singular or only one. Oh, okay. Pinsan. Oh, R. Yes, and that is the correct answer. We should use the word R because the subject is plural or a lot. Is it clear? Yes, tutor. Number three. My bag is R. Rosta. Is. My bag is Rosta. Well done. This is the end of the material. Today, we discuss the material how to use the words is and are. In this lesson, we learned new words and how to use them on sentences. Now, I would like to give you my feedback on your performance for today's lesson, okay? Okay, tutor. Overall, you did a really good job today because you learned how to use is and are on sentences. However, these are things that you need to improve on. For vocabulary, we learned the meaning of singular. Can you read it? Only one. For grammar, earlier you said, These five apples is delicious. Can you read the correct sentence? These five apples are delicious. That's wonderful. And for pronunciation, let's just practice one word. Listen and repeat after me. Bike. Bike. Well done. This is the end of the class and thank you so much for your time. Do you have any questions before I go? No questions. Okay then. Well, I hope to see you again soon, and bye for now. Now that you're done with the sample lesson, you did deliver na yung news na pinakaabangan mo. Either you pass or you fail. Dun mo na tayo sa bad news. If you fail the interview and the sample lesson, the evaluator will tell you that you will get an email from them. Now, hintayin mo yung email. Pag bukas mo ng email, nakalagay dun, you can reapply after six months. Oh, sure. But if you pass the evaluation, sasabihin niya sa'yo, and bibigyan ka niya ng instructions na napakadami. It will take you at least two days. Or kung ayaw mo matulog, do one day. You have to watch a lot of videos about Rare Job. You will see a demo lesson video. You will read about the policies and procedures, the rules and regulations of Rare Job. Ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko na sa'yo, Sobrang dami nun. So good luck. Now for the demo lesson. As much as gusto kong gawin yung roleplay, I can. Kasi sa demo lesson, gagamit ka na ng official rare job material. And makakapiray tayo bes. So, I'll put all the scripts on the description box down below. Para ma-practice nyo rin. Kasi nga diba, practice makes perfect. Perfect Iba pa rin kasi pag pinapractice mo eh. Yung advice ko para sa inyo guys, huwag nyo masyadong memorizing yung script. Huwag kayong mag-relay lang sa script. Sa puso nyo yung ginagawa nyo. Pag nagsimula na kayo mag-conduct ng classes, sisiw na lang to, sigurado ko. So I really hope that you learned something today and I wish you the best of luck. If you have
have any further questions, don't forget to sound off below. Sasagutin ko lahat ng questions nyo. Promise ko yan. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video shout out goes to one of my really good friends. Her name is Diane Chonko. Thank you so much for all the love and support, Diane. I really hope to see you soon. You can follow me on my social media accounts up here and everything will be linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, XXO Opens. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the notification icon so that you will be updated whenever I upload a brand new video. I love you guys so much, XXO Oak Glow fam, and I'll see you on the next one.